If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Now, a lot of people been going crazy as hell, man, about this Kanye West and that shirt that he had on with the White Lives Matter on it, right? And let me say this right here. I understand, right? I'm talking about from both ways, right? But um, uh, being truthfully and being honest with y'all, this is the question that I got to pose to uh, some of my African-American hood educated residents and the guests. Uh, better yet, let me show you. Check it out. Now, as y'all can see, numerous, right, numerous white Americans with Black Lives Matter shirts, Black Lives Matter posters, Black Lives Matter flags. Uh, I ride past a lot of white people houses and I see the, the signs out there that say Black Lives Matter. Um, I see the stickers on the cars of a bunch of white people that say, you know, Black Lives Matter. Um, and some of their businesses, you know, white owned businesses. I go into a white owned business and they got, you know, Black Lives Matter, right? What's the problem? We don't have a problem with that, right? That's fine and dandy. That's cool, right? Why? Because these white people seem to understand our struggle, right? These white Americans seem to understand that, you know, black people do have a lot of obstacles in front of them and it's harder for us to do things versus, you know, white people, right? Now, that's why I take issue with some people that have a problem with Kanye West and the other sister, uh, Candace Owens. You know what I'm saying? Like, although I don't agree with Candace Owens on a lot of her shit, but with her just wearing the, the shirt and with all the other black people that was wearing the shirt, right? Uh, Lauren Hill's daughter, right? Uh, what's the problem? You know, I mean, and the reason why I say it like that is because, come on, y'all, like, white lives do matter, right? Everybody life matter, right? Can can we agree to that right there? Now, the pictures that I just showed y'all with the white people wearing the Black Lives Matter shirts and the, the you know, the posters and the signs and shit like that, uh, good white people have no problem with that. Let me tell you who do. Racist and prejudiced white people hate that shit they hate that shit because it's, they're looking at it like you're betraying your race how could you wear something about black lives matter as if white lives don't matter like they hate that shit and that is the same for a lot of black people that has a problem with Kanye West wearing a shirt that says white lives matter. We, let's just be 100. Some of us is prejudiced and we don't even know it. Some of us have some race racism in us and we don't even know it. But if you took issue with that man wearing that shirt, you need to correct some of your thinking, right? Now, I understand that a lot of people are gonna say shit like, you know, that's our slogan and, you know, uh, we already know white lives matter. And, you know, the reason why we say black lives matter is because it's not like our lives matter. I understand all that. I understand all that. I'm talking about fine and dandy, right? And, and you guys are telling the truth, you know, as far as when you saying that the reason why we had to say that black lives matter is because it seemed like our lives didn't matter. Uh, ever since we was brought over here on them slave ships, our lives really didn't matter. You know, um, 
we was looked at as animals. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had to go through segregation. We had to go through Jim Crowism, right? There's a lot of things that African Americans had to go through to prove that, hey, listen, my life matters, right? And we all want to have to continue to prove that our life matters, right? But instead of proving it to other people, we got to start proving it to ourselves, right? That our lives matter. Fuck everybody else on the outside. No disrespect, right? To my uh, white Americans, Native Americans, Asian Americans, Latino Americans. No disrespect to y'all. But we as a people, as black people, we got to start appreciating our lives a little bit more than we do. And then, only then, I believe that other people will look at us and say, hey, yeah, no, you can't do that to them like that. They're not going to have that. No, you can't treat them like that. They're not going to have that. Right? So once we start respecting ourselves a little bit more, then other people will begin to respect us. But don't get me wrong. I don't like beating down on my people because I see us going up. Especially when you look back from where we came from. Any obstacle that was put in our way, we knocked it down. Think about it. Slavery? How the fuck we get out of slavery? How? It had to be some black people with some good white people that was like, nah, this shit right here, we ain't going for it. And they died, killed, lost their lives and all type of shit for it. You see what I'm saying? And... We're going to have to continue. That's just how things go, right? That's the ball that we're playing with right now. We're just going to have to continue. Now, uh, Kanye West with the White Lives Matter thing on, man, come on, let that man have that. If you prejudice and you don't like it, hey, that's your issue. But just because he did that, that, does, that doesn't take away from Black Lives Matter. How does that take away from Black Lives Matter because he wore a shirt that said White Lives Matter? And how dare somebody say that White Lives Don't Matter? That's just like saying Black Lives Don't Matter. You see what I'm saying? It goes both ways. Now, allow me to say this right here, and, and I need y'all to hear me, and I need y'all to pay close attention, right? I am not a fan of Black Lives Matter as the organization, right? And and let me explain to you why. Uh, to me, I, I don't know what have they done in the black community. Can anybody jump in the comments and point out anything that Black Lives Matter has done in the black community? And I'm not talking about every time a black person get killed by a white police uh, they come out and, and riot or, or not even riot, but they come out and protest, you know, with the signs and all that, you know, that, that's, what is that doing? Nothing to me, right? Now, I don't agree with that program because of this right here. It's not proactive. It's reactive. Black Lives Matter, wait on shit that happened and then say, hey, we don't like the shit that just happened. No. Why not stop the shit before it happens? That's being proactive, right? Um, Black Lives Matter get mad. And they giving all these black people all this motherfucking time in jail. We not going for that. No more. Pre the criminal justice system is corrupt. That's reactive. Niggas is already locked up in jail already, right? No. Why not? Stop motherfuckers from even getting to that point or even want to commit crimes to even go to jail. Why not uh, put in position programs so motherfuckers would think better to the point where they won't even have to sit in front of a judge or a prosecutor or go to somebody prison, right? That's being proactive. I don't see Black Lives uh, Matter doing that type of shit. Um, for all the millions and whatever motherfucking dollars that motherfuckers be giving Black Lives Matter, 
I have yet to see a group of black lives uh, protest when a black person kill a black person. I believe that black lives matter. If, if black lives truly matter, they should be on the front lines. When a black person kill a black person, uh, game bangers should be thinking like, damn, man, these black lives matter motherfuckers finna come, man. And they finna be on our block for 30 days and 30 nights, man. We ain't gonna be able to make no money or shit. They finna be out there. They finna have the Black Lives Matter security guards out there with their guns out. They finna be out there, man, turning all the dope fiends around. They finna be out there, man, you know, making sure the kids and shit go to school. Black Lives Matter, if, if Black Lives truly matter, they should be disrupting the blacks that are destroying black lives. Y'all hear what I'm saying? If black lives truly matter to the Black Lives Matter organization, they should be destroying the organizations or the gangs that are destroying black lives. And they are not doing that. Truth be told, I wrote them years ago and told them who I was and, and what did I want to do with that I possibly could sit down with the gangs in North Minneapolis and, and, you know, stop all the gang violence and stuff like that. Man, I ain't heard nothing from them people. Nothing. So when Kanye West say that that shit was a scam, I would have to believe it because the only thing that I hear about Black Lives Matter now is that they spending $10 million on the mansion. They getting caught, you know, embezzling all the money and all this old type of shit. What are they doing? They are doing nothing. So as far as them uh, proclaiming that Black Lives Matter, show me that Black Lives Matter instead of yelling that shit. Show me. Go where black people are at. Stop motherfuckers from uh, buying them fentanyl pills and shit like that. All the overdosing on heroin and shit like that. Go in the drug infested areas if black lives matter. Go in the gang infested areas if black lives matter. Y'all are getting millions and millions and millions and millions of donations and all this old type of shit. And y'all can be setting up shop in some of the worst cities in the world with y'all own black lives matter security and patrolling the block. If Black lives really matter. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love when y'all take care of yourself out there. I got to give a shout out, man, to some blessings that I received this week. Got to give a shout out to OG, Shot Town Sweetie, for the $20 cash app. And I got to give a uh, another honor to the brother Scotty Guerrero, right, for the $3.33 cash app. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself. Hit that thumb and hit that subscribe button. Peace.